So it's it, it's extremely difficult, and this is one of those areas where um, you know, looking at how the UK government can assist companies to avoid um, such organisations, you know, organisations that, that participate in or, or, or benefit from um, uh, uh, human rights abuses, is uh, is one of the areas we're looking at, and indeed that's the inquiry we're conducting at the moment. The Xinjiang and the the Bayes Committee is doing just the same. So the Foreign Affairs Committee has only looked at this in terms of universities uh, and we've seen uh, or rather we've heard evidence of um, pressure put on uh, Chinese communities in the UK, uh, expatriate Chinese communities in the UK um, because of the, um, by, sorry, by the um, uh, Foreign Office personnel of the Chinese state, um, so the you know, Chinese embassy here and indeed Ministry of State Security personnel. Who uh, are operating in the UK, and we've heard about this as part of the United Front, which, as Chairman Mao put it, is one of the major arms of the uh, of the communist state. So, you know, we, we have heard evidence that pressure is put on people, and this is something that we remain concerned about. The evidence we've seen is that people whose families are in Chinese jurisdictions, whether that be in um, mainland China or in Hong Kong, uh, have had pressure put on them. That is much harder to resist than if their entire families are in the UK or the United States or wherever. The reports that we've received are that families are used as leverage against individuals overseas.